I think it's used to winch the cradle up and down. If I do, I might send this baby crashing to the ground. No way! I guess he watches a lot of TV. Where does he get the power from? I guess it keeps him warm and out of the rain. I thought you might want this to warm you up. Well, oh, thank you, son. Let me drink it and then I'll do you a favor. I'd like to get down there to the street. No problem. Name's Die, by the way. Die? Yes. Why is every day so gray? The air quality is very poor today. It's been like this for nearly 30 years. Since just before I began my new life in this cradle. I haven't seen the sun for decades. It used to cheer up men, women, cats, dogs, and plants. It all seemed a lot happier back then, before the great shake-up. The sun? What is that? I think my mom mentioned it once before she threw me out for cutting class and chilling out all the time. Didn't you pay attention in modern history classes? The sun is a huge slow-motion nuclear explosion in space, shedding warmth on the people of our planet. You say the sun sends warmth? I don't see it anywhere, you old dreamer. Dreamer? How dare you? It's up there, boy, but it's beyond this big cloud of soot that hangs over the city. The Great Shake-Up? I think I remember something about that in modern history classes. But there was something interesting going on outside at the time. It all happened one sunny day about 30 years ago. The day Saul Nistelux was blown into a million tiny pieces. Ah, God bless him. His brother Paul Nistelux bravely filled his shoes, then unveiled his approachable army of Norm Troopers. Things have never been the same since. But the pal of soot has been up there for as long as I can remember. Another one of life's little mysteries, son. Paul Nistelux is our leader, right? Sheesh, kid. Things don't change in this city on a daily basis. He's been leading us for years. So everyone likes him, right? They seem to. No one complains. I just keep myself personal up here. Why did you start a new life in this cradle? I'll just say that I wasn't totally impressed with the departure of Saul Nistelux. So I've declared myself a free state. Why weren't you impressed? Get out into the city and find out for yourself, boy. Open your eyes and dig some dirt. I might bump into you again soon. You seem the right type. Say, do you know what this throbbing, worry thing is? <sighs> I don't have a clue, but I feel a bit weird when I'm near it. If I die, you crazy old guy. Better to be crazy than lazy, boy. I'll say au revoir because I got a feeling I'll see you again soon. You have a spark I haven't seen for ages. This is Dai's cradle. He left it in a hurry. Disturbance? That's the street below my window. When a norm says, keep out, he means it. I'll stay this side of the barrier. I believe our lazy, or er, efficient fire service uses these for water. There's some cool gear in this shop. Unfortunately, it closed down last month. This leads to my apartment. Looks like even the norms get bored standing in one place for too long. <laughs> They've sent a robot to look after me. I'm truly flattered. A great work of art. 
It really cheers the place up. Lots of bats live in this building. They seem happy enough. These sticky, dirty buttons once called the elevator. Not much going on around here. I think this feeds the power to my place. This keeps my pad fed with stale, dry air. I think this enables people to talk to me when I'm inside, but no one's ever bothered. You can't even go to the smallest room in this city without a camera taking a look. Looks like a dangerous piece of electronics. This place is full of gizmos. That's the door of my Neanderthal neighbor. I better not disturb him. What, from here? Get real! It doesn't appear to be locked from this side. Convenient. It's good to be home again. Ugh! There's still a horrible stench coming up from that hole in the bath. You have violated the Penal Code, Section 491223, Section 86, Clause 15, Subsection 7, Paragraph 9, Note D, Escaping an Apartment. Turn yourself in to the nearest Norm Precinct for immediate return to the Blue Pen. I don't think this has been collected for weeks. I have no use for rubbish. There's enough of it in my apartment. More trash. Ho oh, hum. I'm not digging through here. I remember this club being open until our glorious leader closed it after a week. These lead into the park. This cinema's been closed all my life. Ah, oh, well. I hate pantomime. It's so childish. I enjoy a good cartoon. Never saw this film. It looks too soppy and girly. This looks more like my type of film. Blood and guts and boots. They're shut. Just like everything else in this street. These are cool. I could have my own disco. I think this is the only shop in the street that's still doing business. 
it shut. Just another icon for authority ordering our lives, telling us when we can go and when we can't. These lead into the park. Nothing new here. Call that news? I've never seen this store open. Manana, manana. It's locked. Isn't that where I am right now? This is a heavy security door. It won't open. It's locked from within. When a norm says, keep out, he means it. I'll stay this side of the barrier. Now's a good time to look at the map. Isn't that where I am? Maybe now's a good time to look at the map. Buses stop at these occasionally. These are the gates from the original Plush Rest factory. They're an antique, wonderfully wrought. It's straight to the point, isn't it? Hey, if I had a vehicle, I wouldn't park it here even if all the spaces were empty. Could I sneak in through here? I guess I'd better go inside. I think I'm talking to myself. Nice artwork. Hey, my name's Harry Zontel. I've seen a few ads for a job in the test department here. Seems like the dream ticket I've been waiting for. Could you send Mr. Brinkler to see me, please? I'm sorry to be, uh, personal, Mr. Uh, Zontel, but you seem to be a little on the slim side. I must refuse your application on behalf of Mr. Brinkler. Thank you for your, uh, time and interest. Can you read, Ms? My t-shirt proclaims in large and garish letters the nature of my stature. I think perhaps you are trying to unsettle me from my precarious perch on the highest twigs of sanity. Your t-shirt bears no message at all. Good day. Ah, this should be useful in fooling that silly woman at plush rest. She seems likely to believe everything she reads. Do you crave for a plush pasta? Hi, I'm interested in the job of furniture testing. Could you arrange an interview for me? Mr. Brinkler's the name I've been given. You look a little 
How can I put this? Slim, our testers pride themselves on their corpulence. I'm not sure you would fit in. Can you read, Ms? My t-shirt proclaims in large and garish letters the nature of my stature. Ah, yes. That will do nicely. One cannot argue with the written word. I am fat. Indeed you are. I'll page Mr. Brinkler right away. Mr. Brinkler, there is an interviewee to see you. Show him through, then. Please go through to the plush rest hospitality niche. Make yourself comfortable. Mr. Brinkler will be along presently. Nice plants. How do they water them up there? A hose? Wow! They really get to play some presents. Who believed this could be a humble factory? Bizarre! I'm convinced that they rotate the face me like paintings in a horror movie. That big fiery thing hitting the sea. What a dainty little light. Fits in well with those bedding plants. I don't really want it. Hmm. I could really do with a nice cup of chilled water. The screen is merely a projection screen, and not all that high-tech. I love these things. I've always wanted one outside my apartment. It could tell the norms where to go. Gosh, I can't believe that I've actually found something interesting. What a fabulous piece of avant-garde sculpture. Wow! It must be interactive. I can see a glowing green button right here on the front. This green button must be the creature's eye. I think the sculpture must be a metaphor for jealousy or something. I guess I pressed the green eye. Well, here it goes. I've never seen such an evocative and compelling rendering. The green eye, the boiling rage, it all adds up to one of the most brilliantly observed and executed things I have ever seen. Mr. Harry Zontal. I see you've made yourself more than comfortable in our hospitality niche. You certainly know how to make an impact, don't you? I'd like to be the first to congratulate you on getting a job in the prestigious Plush Rest Test Department. I haven't seen such finely honed destructive skills as yours since, since old Gordon Smasher Hodgson worked here. And he could break things in his sleep, literally. I think you'll fit in here just fine. Follow me, and I'll take you to our cosy little test department. There you can have a look around. Great! Right, now that we're in my office, Mr. Zontal, what can I tell you? Well, Mr. Brinkler, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm a glad to... Please, call me Tiddler. Everyone around here does. It helps to create the kind of working family atmosphere you'll come to appreciate. Now, tell me, why did you apply for this job? What have you got to offer us? Um, how come they call you Tiddler? Are you a bit short on something? I think it's irony or something like that. Tell you a secret, boy. I've never really understood it myself. 
Um, I'd like to use furniture on a daily basis. I've always been interested in its construction and its, um, components. Well, we here at the test department are more interested in its deconstruction, if you get my drift. <laughs> That's a little joke sort of thing. Don't worry about the components, though. Why have we no need to worry about the components, Mr. B... Uh, Tiddler? Well, we have what we call waste engineers employed here. At Paul Nistelux's own expense, mind you, to make sure that the place is always kept spotless. They don't seem to like anyone messing about with broken furniture. What exactly are waste engineers? They're the guys who make sure that none of the stuff we bust is left around for more than a minute. They're a division of the Norm Trooper Army. Why that? Not sure, really. Maybe it's an insurance thing. Splinters and such can be deadly, I understand. Leader Paul makes the orders, we just follow them. I seem to have broken quite a lot of furniture myself today. I found some strange stuff among the debris. Perhaps that's why they like to get it out of the way quickly. What kind of stuff did you find? I discovered a couple of gizmos. I don't know what they do though. All I can hear is a strange whispering noise when I hold it close to my ear. Here, listen. Oh, yes. I've got it. Maybe it's a device for making a strange whispering noise. No, hang on. On second thoughts, I feel a little weird when you hold it up close. Maybe it's a relaxation device, son. Or some sort of drain. I ain't never seen one before, and that's how good our waste engineers are. So they are norms. Something very fishy is going on around here. No, son. You came here to destruct test furniture. If it's fish you want, try the Mint Mall. I hear they're having a sale at the moment. Why would Paul, our uh, glorious leader, be interested in a furniture factory? Especially the handling of waste. Oh, I don't know. I never really thought about that. All I know is that since the day when his brother died, Paul has been interested in furniture. That's when he took over the company's affairs. Thanks for all that. Go and have a look around, kid. It's a bit quiet today, but I can't go into that. Take as long as you like. Oh, and don't break anything. There's a spot of trouble concerning that particular aspect. Right, I'm off to a meeting. It's a weighing machine. The smallest weight is 250 pounds. Even if I had the money, I don't think the needle would budge an inch under my weight. Looks like a blueprint for a chair. It says here, our most successful product. Well, I guess everyone needs chairs. This must be Paul Nistelux. Weird looking guy, isn't he? In case of snack attack, break glass. Hmm. Judging by all those winking lights, I'd say that there's an alarm on this case. Touch this and die. Charming! Nice little radio. The tuning knob's missing, though. Yeah, it looks like it's opera or nothing. It's using a current receiver plugged into the back. Might be why it sounds terrible. This thing's useless. I might need that current receiver, though. Got it. Strange little thing. I can't use the case, and I can't get to that debris inside. It's better not to break it. An alarm is bound to go off. I wonder how big the electricity bill is for this place. <laughs> 